Hey everybody, it's Austin. We are doing a video in the garage today, putting together this little um, creeper seat to use in the garage. I am planning to change the oil on my wife's Toyota RAV4 later in the day and got a new creeper and wanted to get it put together. But the instructions are kind of bad, so I just thought I'd make a quick video on how to do it. This is the Pro Lift 40 inch foldable creeper seat. So as you can see down here, it's your typical creeper. It's got nice uh, casters down here, six of them. And then you can raise up the seat or creeper into a seat. And it has a 450 pound capacity, which will hold most anybody. And I think it'll be really nice. It seems really, really solid material. It's really cushy and really squishy. Mine did have some damage on the side. Um, I may reach out to ProLift and see if that's something that they could um, fix for me, maybe send me just a new headpiece. But it's it seems relatively easy to put together. It comes with six casters. It comes with uh, four long casters and then two uh, shorter end casters, which I think will go on the seat portion that raises up. It comes with four bolts an Allen key, and then it comes with a wrench, but this wrench does not fit these bolts. So I've just gotten out a one half inch wrench that I can use um, in conjunction with my 916 socket to get the uh, creeper put together. So what you do is you lay down the bottom piece, which you can see here is the longer portion. And then you lay down the next piece, which is uh, the smaller, uh, middle section right here that has the the longer arms and this one you you know goes on um, this side this far end where this pin is because it has this tab and that'll lock into place so that makes it pretty easy and all we have to do is put in these bolts put them in from the outside um, bolt washer washer lock nut and go ahead and we'll tighten those down and we'll do that on both sides and then i think we'll do it one more time up here and we'll go ahead with the top putting on the top one and then we'll be able to put on the wheels so i'm excited to try it out and it should be a pretty quick install All right, you can see it folds there nicely. So now I think we can go on to getting the top piece on. All right, so next we've got the head piece here, you can see, and we've got, we've got our short casters and we're just gonna go ahead and install them. Put the washer on the bottom which in this orientation, it's the top, but it will be the bottom of the creeper. Um, tighten that by holding this piece right here. So you wanna hold that. And let's see if the wrench that they supplied fits there. So the wrench they supply does not fit. Oh, it does. It fits there. And then you can use your normal box end wrench, which it is not a half inch. So we'll have to grab a new wrench to tighten that one down. All right. So the nut that goes on the back of the um, short casters, the ones that go on the head of the creeper are 17 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten those down.
right? So that spins nice and freely. So now we just go ahead and do that to this side. And then we will mount the head of this to the other end and go ahead and finish off with the other casters. All right, so you could have done this next part when you put together the bottom two sections, but I misread the instructions and I'm doing it now. So finish off by putting this top head section onto the body of the creeper. And it says get that to where it's snug, um, but you don't want it to bind. So you can see this still pivots, but I wanna make sure that the, the amount of bolts coming through is even on both sides, and it is not just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that, make it even with that, and then go around and check these to make sure that we have a little bit of bolt coming through so that the lock nut can engage. And then we'll finish off by putting the casters in here and here. All right, so the final step is you take your long caster with the Allen key nut on one side and you take that off and you put it in from the bottom at this point, this point, this point, and this point. You put it in through the bottom, which you can see there, and then you'll just thread this caster into that nut and use your Allen key that's provided on the other side where my finger is. And the wrench that's provided fits the nut that is underneath or uh, on top of the caster. So this wrench fits that. Sorry for the camera work here. So this wrench fits right there. So then you just take your Allen key and tighten that down. All right, so here it is all put together. It rolls around real nice and smooth. Rolls over the bumps in the carpets nicely. Kind of squeaky. We can spray some WD-40 on that. But this is how this feature works. So you pull the pin, Pull the pin just like that, and then you raise this section up. And the top flips down. And then this pin locks in there. or it should lock in there. So we probably need to do just adjust that just a hair, but honestly it would work just like that. And I think that allows it to store a little bit more compact, at least if you're leaving it on its wheels. But it rolls nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and sit on it and see, see how it rolls when I'm on it. All right, so that pin went in, just took a little bit of my my weight. So you can sit on it, it rolls nicely. You can see my, my good side, I'm spinning circles. 
goes off the edge of the carpet as well. There you go. And I am pushing the upper end of this weight capacity and it feels really comfortable. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you wanted a nice creeper slash seat for your garage, this is something that I'm pretty excited to have and something that I can turn into a chair um, when you're say you're changing the tires or lay it down when you need to get under the car to do an oil change. So hope you enjoyed. I'll leave the link down below as well as the link to the other um, items I've added to my Tundra and anything else I've used on the channel. So check those out down below and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.